I do, I do. A beautiful place, Be beautiful people. Appreciation. I wanted to come here because I was gifted by the Holy Spirit to look at the poor and to share my resources with the poor, the poorest of the poor. So we are here today with Sam Toto and he wants to bring the people of Honduras out of poverty. That is why we're here. This is a garbage dump in Villa Nueva. This is a place where people eke out a living. The greatest needs for the people here in Honduras are access to clean water, access to food, and a safe place to call home. How long have you lived in your house? ¿Cuántos años lleva usted de vivir en esta casa? Este, tengo como cinco meses, cuatro meses. About four or five months. So she's scared when it rains because water goes through her house. But she's also mentioning that even on a regular day when it's sunny, she's scared of thieves and people who come around. Through Brothers in Christ, we have been able to relocate a lot of families that used to make a living out of the garbage dump. So it's like we're seeing the before, like where these families used to live, where they used to work, and now we're going to visit Brothers in Christ, where they currently are in a stable home, in a safe home, in a community, with a school, with a chapel, with just so many more opportunities than what they used to have. They came from the dump over here, many of them. I hope and I pray that it has given them a sense of hope. Hope that they can get out of the place of disrespect, the hell that they have lived in, and have a better life for themselves, and more importantly, for their children. He is an angel of the poor, Samuel Toto. We are blessed to be here today. I feel humbled and so very much feel God's presence here. Where? We're going to be meeting the Dominguez family, and this is a family with a special needs child in the Brothers of Christ Village, and they're very grateful. This is my field, special education, so I'm very anxious to visit with the family. I'm wondering, before you came here to the Brothers of Christ Village, where did you live? Es asombroso poder conocer a su familia y nos puede contar un poco de a dónde vivían antes, cómo eran sus condiciones de vida antes de mudarse aquí a Hermanos en Cristo. Mire, la vida de nosotros desde que empezamos fue muy dura porque nuestra primer bebé es Stephanie. Se nos enfermó a los tres meses. Pues yo tenía apenas 17 años igual a él, pero gracias a Dios tenemos unos padres que nos apoyan. Life for us has been tough since the very beginning. We were 17 when we had our first daughter, Stephanie, who has special needs. So from the very beginning, we struggled a lot, but luckily we had very loving parents. Our parents gave us a roof to live. What does this new house, this new home, really mean to you? ¿Qué significa esta nueva, esta nueva casa, un nuevo hogar para ustedes? Una nueva vida, una esperanza, algo que, que bueno, día a día yo me levanto y para mí es un sueño, yo la veo. Yo soy feliz con mis flores, siembro flores, sé que es mi hijo de mi casa, de mi familia, feliz, feliz. It's a new life, just feliz. hope. I wake up every day and I think I'm still in a dream. I love my house, I love my plants, my flowers, so I'm just happy, happy, happy. Yes. Wow. This is great. Stove, refrigerator, bedrooms, blessings. Blessings to all of you. Blessings. To be here today with Sam dedicating phase two of the village is a gift. And to see how this village has grown since I first came two years ago is a blessing. I see Jesus everywhere I walk in this village and I'm grateful to be here today. I'm so happy that I am with the Honduran people. Sam has a passion to help 
and to give back for those in need. What would Christ do in these situations? He would feed the poor. He would care for the poor. He would care for the marginalized.